So here I am in Qualtrics and I'm just going to go to the top survey that I have right here, which is a psych 144 attractiveness and punishment um, example that I did in class. And I'm going to click on the project options. So you can see it if I hover over these three little dots, it's the project options. And at the top of it is close. You should only click close if you have at least 50 responses for your survey. It's fine if they're not all completed responses, um, but you need to have 50, like right here, it says 119, you need to have 50. And then you're gonna click close. If you don't have that, you're going to have to go through the data cleaning process again, and then you would close that before you get to that point. Um, so you can see here that it's asking, what do you want to do with survey sessions that are currently running? You're going to stop them and record them according to the survey's partial response completion settings. And then you'll pause response collection right here. It's going to turn gray and say closed. So you want to make sure that that is um, the case. Then you can click into it by just clicking here if you want to. I'm actually going to click at project options again, and I'm going to go to data and analysis, and it's going to take me directly to the data and analysis tab. And this can sometimes take a little while to load. Oh, well, this one was miraculous and just loaded right away. So um, you can see that I have some recorded responses here. And what I want you to do is you're actually going to filter out your survey previews. So you're going to add a filter and you're going to create a new filter and you can change this. Um, you can change the name of it. So I'm going to say survey previews. And then I want to do um, all of the following are true. It doesn't really matter for that because we're just going to do one thing, but we're going to select choice. And what we want to do is go to the survey metadata. Um, so metadata is just the data around the data is a simple way to think about it. But basically, it's the Qualtrics data that's automatically collected. So I want to go to response type right here. And I want to click on is not. And I want to click um, survey previews survey test. You can go through and click these other ones like imported spam, survey preview spam, um, imported spam. It doesn't really, the, the main one that would actually come up from your surveys is this survey preview. Uh, so then I'm going to go ahead and apply and save filter. And what this does is it takes out any survey previews. Um, so that way we only get, uh, get surveys that are actually complete. If you skip this step, you're going to have to delete it manually in Jamovi. So don't skip it. So next you're going to go to export and import, go to export data. And when you go to SPSS, uh, I want you to click on SPSS right there. You're going to download all fields, but I want you to click on this more options. If you have a between subjects randomization, so if you did a study where you have two conditions or potentially more than that, but you have conditions where participants were randomly assigned to only complete one of them, so between subjects experimental design, you need to click this export viewing order data for randomized surveys. If you don't do this, you're not gonna be able to tell what condition they were in. So it's really important that you do that if that is your design. Um, and so once you have that, you're just going to click download. And then this will go to your downloads folder as an SPSS file. And uh, you will be able to open that. Um, and you'll actually open it in Jamovi. So that is the end of this video. Make sure that you follow these steps completely, that you can also follow the guide if that's easier than watching the video. And then the next video is going to be um, the start of cleaning your Jamovi data.